What up? What up? What up? What up? Is that too loud? Yeah, right. I thought you were deaf. Does it matter? I'm working here. Deaf. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We, we appreciate you guys joining in. Uh, I'm DJ Iowa. We got Dr. Fly Fisher and G Funk Retro in the house. Uh, so you went home, right? You went home. You made it home safe before the storm. Made it just in time. Yeah, barely touched. We landed. It was rough coming in, and uh, yeah, the snow came right after. Yeah. So did you get it up there too then? Yeah. Yeah. And then it came down here. And, yeah. And it didn't obviously do justice down up there because. Ian, have you ever seen it this deep here? No. In fact, uh, everyone talks about because we live in Utah, right? And everyone talks about, oh, the winter's here, so terrible. Oh, the snow. And I'm like, y'all, we're from Washington, northern Washington. I can remember walking to school and the snow burn was so high, I couldn't see the uh, the houses walking to school. So I'm like, this snow is not that bad. But uh, <laughs> yeah, over overnight we got, because of the snow drifts, anywhere from a foot to two or three feet, depending on with the the yeah. wind blowing it up into a corner corner pocket. Yeah, it was pretty intense. So it basically took, you know, the the normal hunting days of going out hunting to staying home with some hot chocolate. Yeah. After four hours of shoveling snow, two days in a row. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was I was shoveling for a long time, so I, I essentially got two workouts in those days. I still went and get my pull ups and hit the gym, come home, shovel for two hours. You know, I actually didn't go to the gym because I felt like I got an arm workout and then some. What was that? Yeah, I worked those lats. That's, that's right. That's what right. <laughs> the lats. That's right. Yeah. Um. Well, I, I feel like it's uh, worth saying again. Happy birthday! Thanks, Big Five O. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, yeah. That's what I keep being told. <laughs> I was told today at church that uh, I can now request a massage after church <laughs> because I'm 50. I'm like, hey, I'm going to take advantage of that. So, yeah. I like that idea. I'm not quite sure what we're talking about, but I never heard about that. I turned 50 like two years, well, 50, yeah, year and a half ago. Hey, I like I said, I'm just gonna accept it and be like, all right, dear, I heard this at work or it's at church. Must be gospel. Well, I feel like this conversation is going down a weird road, so let's transition real quick. Uh, we yeah, got the one that made it weird. I know. I I love making things weird. Uh, we got uh, we got a sweet uh, package in the mail. I got a sweet package in the mail, um, and I uh, wanted to share it with everybody. So, as you guys know, um, we are we are big fans of the Diecast magazine, Diecast Heroes. Um, you guys rock. And uh, what's cool with this one um, is that it features uh, Dad's car. So, you know, we've talked about dad's car on here, how I built a car for my dad after he passed away. And we took it to, uh, to the Hot Wheels convention. We ended up taking home the gold. Super pumped on that. Um, and actually, I am going to submit it this, this weekend. I'm going to another diecast convention. Uh, customized, uh, customizers uh, uh, contest will be there. I'm going to bring dad's car again. So, you know, you never know. Um, I'm not expecting for back-to-back -back wins. Uh, but it'll just be nice to come showcase. But anyways, um, I want to thank uh, Carmen and uh, Tony uh, for the, the for the great work that they did on um, on uh, uh, the magazine and the feature uh, that they did on Dad's car. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna share um, just a brief. I'm not gonna read it or go into it or nothing, but uh, just gonna share with you right here. Let's let's make it big. So this is this is the inside of the magazine here. Um, you can see that's uh, that's me and my dad when I was little. That's me winning uh, the trophy after um, after the Hot Wheels convention. Uh, and then you can see down here, you know, our family photos and everything. Um, they did a great work, great work on this one, making it super special and uh, you know sharing sharing uh, dad's car with everybody. Uh, so big shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. Um, I'm glad it could be shared. If you want to, you know read in detail or, or anything, um, please go over and check out the, uh, we'll put the, the link, link in, we'll put the link in, in the description so you guys can see it. Yeah. And, uh, definitely subscribe to it. If you haven't subscribed, jump on there because I mean, how many, how many, I mean, you this look is, at this thing. Yeah. How many customizers are there in that? 
There's over 100 builds in this uh, magazine. So. And believe me, all these guys are extremely cool, special, and and uh, they could definitely use our support too, along yeah. with the Diecast Heroes magazine. Not that we're sponsored by them or anything, guys. We just, we really respect what they do. Yeah. Yeah. So very classy. Yeah. Yeah. So big shout out to you guys. Appreciate you. Um, I love this edition. And uh, yeah, it means a lot. So thank you for that. But that was my find of the week. <laughs> find it in my mailbox. Mailbox. But... Yeah. Can't really go into much more detail because when I was just looking at it before we came on the air, it was pretty emotional. Yeah. I'm that's, you. Why I'm so, not, that's why I'm so not reading just, it. We're just going to leave it at that, right? Leave it at that. And, and uh, yeah, we'll go, uh, go on to the next segment. So, Warren, what are we talking about next? We got well. Uh, did you want to show your uh, uh, custom shelf there, Ian? You, oh you, yeah. You put up so, a new yeah, yeah. So, edition. So, you know, we have our our display back here of some some uh, A A class cars, if you will. Um, but we have some customs, and also um, like any acrylic uh, car that we purchased, I can't display it because I don't have a shelf. So I'm like, well, I'll go on Amazon. I'll see if I can find a nice shelf. So I was able to. Uh, let me let me let me let me double this over here. Double click that. Boom. So uh, I'll just leave this up here. Um, okay. There we go. So I just bought these clear shelves, um, and it actually it sits it sits three uh, three acrylic cars uh, pretty nicely in there. So I just got three for now. Um, I'm thinking about stretching it along the whole side of the room, but uh, you know throwing some customs up right now. I got other customs I still need to mount into the acrylic case, um, but uh, pretty pumped on that. And it was so the pricing on it was um, twenty one bucks for the three, and I'm thinking about getting one, two, three, three more, so nine, three more rows, so nine. Then I can put up like the Lamborghini, the M M&M and M Combi, the the Green School Busted, the um any of the acrylic ones so that's kind of my plan to so i have i have all the the card cards carded cars right here and then on that wall i'm thinking about having all my uh customs and um acrylic pieces so just some some ideas for y'all if you want to display um some cars in your in your office or anything like that so and these are all on in protectos yeah with just a thumbtack being yeah holding them up right now so that's how Ian has kind of figured out his best way to, to set them up here right now. So if I ever move out, move, then I'm going to have to just do a layer of paint to, cause it's going to be a bunch of pinholes, but yeah, you can just do toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste in it. Again, I don't do it. James needs to, uh, get uh, a shoving unit too, to put his, uh, birthday combies up. That's that right. Got. <laughs> it's on its way. I actually showed, those cars to to melissa and she was like we're gonna put those in a special spot and i said you know we're gonna put them in a special spot so melissa's mind is constantly working on ways to display all these cool things yeah i just give it to her it's her house and she can she's given me space yeah. to put stuff but it's coming so maybe hey, episode uh, 114 or something like that if you don't if you don't know what we're talking about we're talking about last week's uh customs that were uh were given to james for his birthday so check yeah. that out two of the best cards in my collection right yeah now. when you turn 60 years old yeah. you get two sweet customs so. <laughs> oh wait right. no 50, oh, 50 no 51 i mean it's all the same number to me so you guys are just <laughs> over the hill through the woods uh so we so all three of us were lucky enough this is the first casting first car that all three of us were able to pick up yep um, from Redline Club or from Mattel Creations. Warren, which one was it? What was the car called? Yeah. The Mercedes? The uh, Mercedes Benz Gunmetal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We put them on the spot. Yeah. So it's this one right here. Oh, uh, wait. I got a red one right here. Is it, is it like that one? Uh, Mercedes Benz 300 SL. Is that, is that a Super? No, it's just the uh, regular version. Oh. But the they do have a super line. version of it, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh. That's the, the D case. Oh. C. Wait. Um so so I, fi I figured we could uh, the next the next we could transition into this. Oh, we got three hundred and twenty people in here. What up guys? Woo, woo. 
Uh, oh, BJ's in here too. Hey, What's up, brother? Of course, BJ's in the house. Um, so I figured we could go through this. Uh, I'm gonna open it up, Warren. We'll 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 start off with you. We'll go to James and then me. Kind of what you think on on this uh, this car, this casting. Uh, boop. So I just took some some quick pictures here. Um, so be patient with me. It's nothing nothing too wild as far as photos go. But what do you think, bro? Yeah, I I like it. I um. I, I must be unlucky because I mine is not yet coming the mail yet, and so I'm waiting. I I'm, I may need to check that uh, tracking on that, but yeah, I like the I like the the casting. I like the I like the color. Um, it's kind of you know old schoolish. The four one seven. I mean that's uh yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty stoked about getting it, and then uh, adding it to the yeah, four seventy garage for sure. Yeah, James, what do you think? So when I first saw, um, when I looked at it from the front, because I was looking at the card art, and I love that card art, by the way, um, but I thought that it actually had kind of a greenish tint to it. So it's gray, but when you look at the front, there almost looks like a green tint to that gray. Um, I like that. I, to be honest with you, was a little disappointed in the wheels until I actually started looking deeper into these wheels. And those hubs, are they painted? Are they just globbed the paint put on them? I'm going to have to look more into these hubcaps and find out how exactly they did them. Um, but to be honest with you, the whole racing champion, kind of the racing vibe, it looks like there's a roll cage on the inside. So warned for that, what you said about the um, uh, kind of an old school. That's what it reminded me of. Right? Reminded me of. It's like an old school um, rally race from you know like the 50s 60s yeah I with see that, that with that yeah. roll cage vibe so so uh and there's a reason why i wanted to save my opinion to the end um i think this car sucks <laughs> <laughs> this thing sucks man <laughs> this thing is ugly the the paint sucks the the decals suck uh you know so so in my eyes let me bring you back up here bro so in my eyes with this car uh I was I was pretty hyped on it because I have the IWC version, okay? The International Watch Company. Um, they did an exclusive uh, piece on this, so let me bring that one up. This is what this Mercedes Benz should look like. It should look like this. It should be eye candy. You should see this thing and be like, man, that thing pops. Like this this car. They also did the the Bathe and Ape um, uh, yeah. piece on this one as well, which we missed. But this car is awesome overall until Mattel decided to come in and and deliver this part of a car this thing sucks man the color sucks the wheels take it know. easy no bro. man james you were on you were saying it right with your the the wheels not being on point now i you can tell here that this this door does open um there's 20 plus pieces to this car so you know you have you have the casting you have some windows you have the roll cage you have the this door opens that door opens wheels rim because they are real riders right um i like this is a this is a dud of a hot wheel honestly it's probably one of the worst hot wheels that i think mattel's come out with on a on the premium version um what do you think about the card art no i like the card art you're right but the card art look at it it doesn't even let me bring it, it pops up. it does pop doesn't but it? the card art doesn't match the actual car no and like look at this it's a, it's a ugly match ugly like blob of a color i feel like what happened was they painted it and then they painted a gray primer over the top of it like i feel like i could make this car uh better than what well better than what mattel did um i i don't know i don't know it's uh you know sorry to be so harsh i think this thing sucks no no it's this is what it should have looked like you know look at the look at the details on this one and how much was that one do you remember for free baby I want it. How much would it have cost? Oh, and yeah, right now you can't get it for less than a thousand bucks. Exactly. Uh, so shout out, shout out to uh to uh Ben. A thousand you, bucks. Me and Ben each got one. Uh, but but th there's there's been other other cat even that hold up that regular that you got there, bro. Hold up that that red one. Even this one looks better. Honestly, that is a really this is, nice a main red. line. This is not better. Hey, this is a dollar car. But you know what? It, it looks it's, better. The 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 tampos on it are on point. The colors on point. So we hold on. We have six hundred and eleven people in right now, 
Throw it in the chat. Do you like the elite one? Give me, give me a, a thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up or thumbs down. We're just talking elite, and I've given you now two other cards to compare it to. We got the red one, which I think is fire, and we got the uh, IWC, which I think is fire, and then we got this. I mean, even, I mean, maybe, maybe they like it. Even looks like the plastic on it is thicker than normal, so that you can't actually see the. Maybe it's just the gray <laughs> with the plastic. I think it sucks. So until I want my money back. <laughs> maybe maybe I should do a quick will swap and uh real talk. You could now huh? put the put the red wheels on the on it, the, I think it's good for us to have our own hey, opinions. But elite, that one was twenty bucks, so why do you think it was only twenty? Was it just to get it out there? Was yeah, it, but for an extra they could... an extra five to ten bucks. Different wheels. I've got cars up here that cost me less than twenty bucks that are significantly better. Well, I'm talking about the inflation. See, Mike agrees. But we're talking about like what they actually cost, not what you got them for. Obviously, you get them for. I don't think they make much money on these premium Redline Club cars. To be honest with you, I mean. Oh, I think they do. I think they, I mean, dude, they're mass producing thirty thousand of them. It costs less than a buck to make each one. I guarantee you, even the nice ones, less than so. a buck. Guarantee thirty thousand. Cost cost of it is way lower. Way lower. I, I was thinking for a for a twenty dollar car, I was thinking that it was going to cost them five bucks to make it. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's not very. In fact, I can't remember a time I've come on here and and uh, and and said that a car was that sucked. as much of a fart as that one was. But it is. Uh, it's it's not good. I mean, I'll keep it. Someone want to trade me for it? You can have it. I might just keep it so that I can, because I, I do want all of them. We have the first one. This is, a, well, technically, this is, if you didn't know, this says number one on it, and then was a Toyota. It says number two on it. So one, two. I might keep it just for the set, but um, it's important for us to have our, our own opinions and be able to, uh, that's kind of part of this this uh, page as well, is like come in and be honest with not only like the car, but like whatever you got going on. Um, I don't like yeah, it. BJ didn't like it either, and. Like I said, it wasn't my favorite. I was still kind of trying to grow on the card, but I really like the card art. But that's also because that's... I, and it's okay if you like it, and I don't. And same <laughs> with you, Warren. It's okay. No, it's not okay, Warren. You have to like it, too. Warren's like, oh, I have to not like maybe it. my opinions weren't weren't valid now because... I think he was just going no, soft on like it. it. He, he didn't want to say, that one sucked, and, because then you would have been like, and he, you're right, I agree. And here's the deal, Warren. Like This is like your first one... So I get the excitement and you're going to get it. And I'm not, I wasn't trying to like throw it, like <laughs> drag it through the mud or make it seem like it's not worth it to have, which by the way, on Tuesday, Red, Red Line Club opens up. Make sure you go get your membership. I'm going to get one. You'll get one. Warren, I'm sure you'll get one. Um, because uh, then you can, you're signed up to get some, uh, the opportunity to get some hot cars yeah. in the future. It used to be that you would get cars automatically. Yeah. But now it's the opportunity to go get yeah. some cars. Yeah. But anyways, so um, that's enough about that one. Um, shout out to IWC. You, you guys did it right. This one's a dud. So moving on. What's next? <laughs> we need something of a lighter note because it's getting kind of huge. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Any luck on the Mustang coming up? Yeah. Oh, good luck. Yeah, you too, Mike. Hey, listen, Warren. Uh, I'm looking at this uh, Harry Potter closet you're sitting in. And and it looks different. What's going on? What in, in is Avenue? different about this? Did you wait? The, did you just uh, wipe a sign. The Fourth Avenue garage. Is, <laughs> Where did you steal there. that, bro? Wait, you flew home. <laughs> How did you sign. get that sign? You got to go west to uh, ninety <laughs> to the, the ninety. <laughs> you know, yeah. I I recall I had a, uh, I was at a camp out. Um, it was it was right next to like this junk junk yacht junk yard lot and they had this big stop sign and i brought it home it had a bullet hole, bullet hole through it that was like that big and uh, everyone was always giving me crap saying you can't have it's illegal to have the stop sign i'm like it's defaced and it's i found it you know <laughs> apparently i was supposed to turn it in or you something found it sitting in someone's driveway yeah i found it in someone else's <laughs> property <laughs> oh dang dude so hold on let me i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you a full front and center uh view yeah here. give me full uh i gotta do an update on the uh so the if you remember the surf crates were up here. Yeah. 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 Because of uh, because James Whoa. and uh, everybody else saying, I, I made my own little shelf for them. So I've got 
I've got the all the variations. This is a new one right here that came in this week. These That's two, a the Game Choice Katie one, Boys. right? Limited wow. edition. Yeah. Wow. And Katie then uh, I picked this one up. This one came in the mail today, or not today. Um, Dings. What what year is that one? Yesterday. This is the. Uh, it says collector two. Uh, Click on the back. I think it was two thousand and two. Oh, it's even numbered. Yeah, thirty one out of. Thirty one hundred out of twenty out of ten grand, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So scroll down, it's it's in the small print. It says the year. Two thousand one. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. I'm off by a year. Sorry, bro. Dude, that's this awesome. Is, uh, I got this one right before I left. And that's so a hunt, guys, right? That's the treasure hunt, yeah. Nice. And um and so Surf Crate's got their own. I told Warren um, that there was a super from a couple years ago and I forgot to give it to him. He did forget to give it to me, and uh, that made me mad. But that's in the mail, right, James? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's in the mail. <laughs> he said that made me mad. It's in the mail. <laughs> what about the? What, what is that? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Thing. I'll give you Wait, access again. What? What the heck is that? This, this is all about uh, these surprise gifts. Okay. So I had to hunt these down. So James had sent these to me. Um. At Christmas time, and um, there was some confusion on who uh, who had them. Uh, my sister had them, or did my mom have them? We couldn't find them. We tracked them down, and uh, it says open on air. So okay, well, uh, so this is the first one. Okay, Ooh. oh, look what we got here! Dang, super! Wow, the 2020 Jaguar. Are these these are Those supers, are supers right, bro? Look at you dropping. Dang, I don't even think I've got that Dotson on top. Hey, that was my... <laughs> you can't have this one. No, that was my box, man. The, the left one's your box. That one's my box. You gotta ship that back oh, to me. To Ian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh I'm sorry about that. Dude, oh, be careful oh, with the card oh, art, Lord. man. Dang. What a score. Oh, look at him. So thank you, brother. So yeah. put in perspective, those are anywhere from what, like forty to eighty bucks a pop. Yeah, these are all from last year. These are extra supers that uh I was able to find out in the wild and uh I just figured, hey, if you're gonna get into it. Which you've obviously started getting into it. Yeah, <laughs> we've created a monster. Um, you, you have created a monster. Yeah, you can yeah. you can now have some some premiums to go with your track. I mean your um. <laughs> with My your retro collection. stuff. No. You, yeah, you, I, I got some good cards. Up no, you there. know, so so uh, so a little bit of uh, history on on me with collecting. So. I used to jump for years. I just went. I didn't even know about treasure hunts, supers. I would just go and I would buy all the cars that I like. So I've got a lot of the old Lamborghinis, a lot of the all the Ferraris. So what's nice about that is we lost Hot Wheels lost the license for Ferrari, uh, but I've got them all. So uh, they're up tucked away. So anyways, I would collect uh, a lot of the cars that I liked, and then uh, someone randomly was like, "Yo, are you looking for hunts?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Like we're sitting in front of the pegs, and he's like. Oh yeah, let me see if I can get him to bring out a box. He brings one out. It's a super treasure hunt. He's like, you can't have this one, but that's what you're looking for. I was like, okay, thanks for like, <laughs> you, you're filling me in. How I'm, old were you at this time? Maybe, I don't know, 20? 20? Not 18 maybe. 18. Yeah. You can't have this one. See now, how memorable would it have been if he would have yeah, actually given true. you that one? But it's all good. It's all good. Like he, but anyway, so, so my point is, is that you know, your collection, collect what you like. Don't just collect to collect. Um, you know, I, I know you like the surf crates. You like some of the buses. I like the Batmobiles. I like the Lamborghinis. Like, so so to everyone at home, collect what you like. Don't just collect to like trade or collect to sell or, you know. But if you do, I guess that's your own. Well, I'm just saying like you get a lot more out of it and, and I'm encouraging you to do you. Don't do others. If that makes sense. Yeah. You gotta have that you gotta have that one or two favorite castings that you like that you just Absolutely. gotta try to find all of them. Absolutely. Yeah. You found out that I like the combi. My boys like the combi. Yeah. 
Warren likes the surf crate as well as other wheeled vehicles. Like, what's your other jam? The to the toad. Yeah, thank you. The toe <laughs> jam. That's my other jam. I was gonna say thunder roller. He was. <laughs> so it's fine. I like the thunder roller too. Yeah, but those were up there. He uh, he came and he was looking at the wall of fame and he gets to the thunder roller. He's like, oh, I like these ones. Me well, too. We had that conversation. The reason that he likes it is because of the double, Actuals. triple wheel ax. You know. Yeah. multiple wheels and that's what i really like as well so yeah it's it we it's like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree with warren and i and ian because yeah. he's got a whole wall of thunder I, rollers i think there's something to be said about us collecting and like hey when you're out and about look for you know the ecto look for you know the combi look for whatever because then we end up like oh i pick up two of them i'll keep one too you know because each one of these lines you can see i've got dairies here school busted uh the gassers batmobiles Clones. Yep, blown deliveries, uh, all the drag buses down there, the thunder roller, the uh, bone shaker. So I guess what I'm saying is I collect everything. <laughs> I collect them all. He collects all the castings now. Yeah, even the parts, even the duds. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good, bro. And, and I mean, this is going back to December. I mean, that's, you know, three months ago Yeah. that, that I sent yeah. those to you thinking, oh, well, you know, you just got back from LA. You're looking to add to your collection. Here you go. And yeah, yeah. I just thought if I didn't already have enough of a uh, uh, of a fire lit under me by going to the convention, now I have lots of fire. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's so fun. It's, I've got a... <clears throat> I was actually talking to somebody um, uh, that works for me, so I'm a district manager, and uh, he, he didn't ha he doesn't have an outlet. He doesn't go do anything. He doesn't, and I'm like my guy like. I go collecting, I go hit the gym. Like it's almost like a reset for me. Um, you know, I can have a stressful day and I go hunting, you know, even if I don't find anything, just kind of the thrill of going out and trying, you know, it can be a reset. So, so find something, find a hobby, find interest. Like this, this life's too short to be living just for the man and, and grinding day by day with no, uh, no positives, no, whatever you want to call it, resets. So no yeah. fun stuff. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I like um, that advice. Yeah. That's good advice, bro. So, so what's next on the list here, guy? So we can either go to finds of the week, or we can go to uh, what's in the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in, oh, let's let's ask the people. Finds of the week, or what's in the bag? Oh, okay, we got we got hearts. We got hearts. So that must be that must be the what's one, in the one bag. segment. What's in the bag? Everyone loves seeing what's in your bag. All right, let's go, guy. You're gonna have the floor. The bag. Here. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Strobe light in, in the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? People's now, favorite segment. This is um... yeah. tuck bag. <laughs> so I got I got two of these bags. We'll go through. We can go through. Uh, well, so there we go, James. Three ninety nine. There we go. Now we're talking. I know you like that. Yeah. Let's break these out. Shopping a on a budget what... is what I like about that. Yeah, we got that. A lot of silver colored cars. Is that Porsche in this bag. What is that? That's, That's a, a uh, Jaguar, or something. I think. Oh, Bugatti. Woo! Yeah. What's the black one? That is a Bugatti, isn't it? Uh, Audi. Oh, R8. Oh, nice. Oh. Top five cars for me is yeah. the R8. Spider, yeah, it's like a spider right there. Nice, nice find. What, what car? Is that oh, a? There's one more. Oh, one more. Is it raw? See the color wheels on that one, James. Oh, a red line, really? A red line, baby. Man, this it's already one... stripped down for you to customize, bro. I think it comes like this, bro. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> Are you this sure is, those that, wheels aren't painted on that red line? If someone didn't wheel no. swap it. I think it would have been rubbed off by now, judging by the. No, that, that that's the legit. Look at that bottom there. That's yeah. uh, patina. What's the year on that, Warren? Um. You need your you need your, your readers on. Yeah, I, guess I need my my readers. Give it there. to your, give it to your daughter and let her read it because I have to do. I actually had to do that the other day. Take pictures of the bases of all those uh, all those red lines that I got because I couldn't see it. Holy cow! I can't believe I can't. Uh, I should have uh, cleaned it. Well, get those actually, bifocals out. out. Let's just say it's uh, seventy one. That's a good year. Yeah, that's awesome. 
So what out of all those castings, what what made you want to buy that bag? So it was obviously the red line. Um, these are the ones, these are all fun. And what they'll probably end up doing is just going into the, the toy bag where we can just race them or whatever. Yeah. I got a, I got a box um, that it's like impossible for me to even lift it. It's so heavy because it's got so many cars in it. So I see our surf trade in there. Yeah. Look at that. What? That's why I got this one. But yeah. look, I also got a, uh, bonus, um, John Deere. John Deere. Yeah. Nice, dude. Oh, like and a Dodge Lock yeah, car Dotson and a Dodson. And a Dotson. A Dotson oh, wagon. Dude, that with a Scorter like bag. Wagon. You got a wagon in there as well? What's that wagon from? Is that from yeah. a 30 piece? Or a 5 piece? The wagon? Do you remember, James? You know what? I want to say it's either from a 5 pack or even one of the 10 packs. 70, 71 Dotson 510. Because they didn't do that so in the mainline, I don't the, think. Ask the, ask the people. The, the wagon. people would know. Yeah, I don't know. There's some people in there that know more about because that because that we do. I've got Dodsons up on my wall, but I don't have that one. Awesome, man. Uh, well, what what's over there on the right hand side? The uh, so give me a quick a quick uh, breakdown of what's what's over there, and then come back on camera because I know you're, you're going to tell a story about it. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah, what the, is that? the VW series. Yeah. So yeah, this is the VW series. I just picked up. Uh, a couple of sets of these actually. Um, so I went to a. Uh, it's it's funny how the turn right. of events transition back happened. to you. Transition back to you so we can see you. There we go. It's funny how the how things transition. I went to I went I was actually going to go to an estate sale, and it was way up on Francis, and I was like, that's way up there. I'll just. I'll turn here. Uh, I was going to go to Value Village yeah. on the way back. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to go to Value Village. But then I thought, if I go a little bit further down, like in the Shadle area, and you guys in the P PNW know what I'm talking about, uh, there's a Walmart there. Yeah. And we had visited some Walmarts, me, uh, you, and James. Yeah. When we went you know, over the weekend. And, and so trying to find the goods. I was like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go down or the automotive way. I'm going to go park by the automotive side. Go on the back. And get into, into Walmart quick. So a great little trip. And uh, they didn't have one. So I made a, a wrong turn. They didn't have an automotive area. But when I turned, I found a Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh. It's got to be fate. Okay. It's well, be fate, right? Dollar Tree. Pardon? It's got to be fate is what I'm saying. It is fate. It must have been because when I went in there, I they had literally they had like they must have just dropped this box because there was like four or five sets of complete sets of the VW line here. Um, I didn't really know anything about it. I asked James. He said, "Yeah, you know, you should uh, you should talk to the manager, you know, because then maybe you know you can get an in or something." And I was like. Yeah, that sounds great. But one thing I did notice about this store compared to other stores was that it was very nice. It was very clean. It was like it was like a brand new store is what it looked like. And so I was like, maybe I should just tell the the manager that. And so I asked the lady that when I bought these and she said, uh, oh, yeah, you want me to call her up? I was like, OK, that'd be great. This old lady comes out. I wasn't really expecting an older lady. And I was like, I just want to tell you that you have the nicest Dollar Tree in the area. Like, legitimately. Like, this store is very nice. She's like, oh, you know, she was real nice. Oh, thank you very much. I got to tell you, know, you uh, there's you some know, Dollar Trees out there. We work hard. That are trash. Yeah. I mean, garbage all over the floor, yeah. shelves just. So, to appreciate a nice, clean store. Yeah. I, I do appreciate that, Warren, and I will go out of my way if there's ever a bathroom that's really nice and clean or a store that's nice and clean to tell the manager or the assistant manager, even the store manager at Walmart, hey, your toy area looks really nice. Whoever's keeping yeah. that up. And again, this is all about building rapport and being honest. Yeah. Because we appreciate that. Yeah. So I I asked her, I said, uh, and this is, I heard, Jim, I heard you talking in my ear. I was like, 
So I asked her, I said, hey, do you, can you make, can you call customers if something comes in? <laughs> like, literally, can you call me? Like, she's like, well, not really. Like, we get, you know, we get stuff on, on Thursday. She's like, what are you looking for? And I said, oh, Hot Wheels. This is exactly what she said to me. Wait right here. Boom. I was like, I was like, okay. Just that I'll, easy, I'll right? right here. Just that easy. She goes, she goes in the back and she brings out one box and <laughs> it's already open. It's already open. And, uh, no. she, and she also has, this is so the... half the cars are in this box and half the cars are on this like little kind of uh, trolley crate type thing. And, and I was like, uh, I go, oh, it's, it's open already. I go, did, you know, did someone. Another collector someone, or something. Looking, was someone looking for something? She's like, yeah, I opened it. I was like, <laughs> oh, she's like, I collect. I collect rescue vehicles. Oh, cool. I was like, oh, rescue vehicles. You know, I'm thinking, okay, not treasure hunts, <laughs> super treasure hunts. That's awesome. Yeah. Rescue vehicles. Um, I'm like, well, that's awesome. So she's like, yeah, I mean, you could, uh, you know, you could come back on, on Fridays or whatever. And I was like, that's awesome. So um it started to get real busy so basically i didn't know so i looked through all this stuff i did find a treasure hunt the the same dragster one that we uh oh that van thing actually. No, I, I turned I actually turned it into a custom oh, oh uh, put some will on it. A, a quick will swap and a, my lucky number um <laughs> and uh so i uh I basically took everything and I went and I, I put it on the pegs. I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't want to just leave them there. They're, I was literally at the register. Just they were all like right there. I was like, well, maybe I'll just go put them up. I mean, I don't know what else to do with them. So I went and pegged them all. And then uh, we'll see what happens if I go back on. Uh, I mean, I'll go back later, you know, on Wednesday or Thursday, late Thursday, maybe Friday. Yeah. And we'll see nice. if. Uh... Well, there's, there's definitely. Definitely a delicate balance between the workers and the customizers. Um, so we encourage you guys don't go in and trash the place because then they're gonna hate you. They don't want any cus any collectors coming in. So the fact you pegged them, that's awesome. Um, that'll uh, get you some brownie points, I'm sure. So. And it's always great to build that connection relationship. I was telling Warren, I probably would be looking now for rescue vehicles. So if I find an ambulance or find a police car or something. I'd probably bring it back to her and say, I remembered you told me this. So I had this in one of my totes. Yeah. And here you go. It's so easy way to gain some quick rapport. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. And I feel like, I feel like that's how you build relationships in the industry. Um, you find out what their favorite casting is and then you see it. They didn't see it. You pick it up for them. And it's not about, Oh, give me a buck for this or give me five bucks for this. You have a couple people that you do this with where you go to a convention and you buy an extra set and they buy an extra set. So you guys just give it to each other at cost rather than yeah. the inflated prices that yeah. sometimes happens within the industry. And I get it. There's times and a place for people to buy, sell, to buy and sell. But mostly we've always said it, trade is king. We, yeah. We love that. Love trading. Uh, I remember, so back in the Redline Club trade boards, before either one of you collected, I was very telling. I was like a, a trading master, dude. I had pages of, of positive feedback and it was, I loved to trade because I would, I would find a super and be able to train trade for an old red line club that I didn't have or something. Um, and uh, it was a win-win people wanted supers. I wanted the old red line clubs. And, uh, that's how I got majority of like the super rare ones up here was through trading. So, um, I love to trade, uh, but you're right. Like the, you know, I got, uh, we went to the LA convention and we got a set and, uh, my buddy is like, Hey, you know, what are you asking for these? I was like, my guy, you're, you're a bud. Like you can have them at cost, you know? And then once you know, he turns around and he's going to, uh, to nationals and he's like, whatever you want, man, let me know. You can have it at cost. And I'm like, bet. So, you know, I'm not trying to get a, get a buck off of him or nothing. And, uh, so what goes around comes around, you know? So what, what do we got next here, Warren? Anything yeah. left on the dock? Oh yeah. Let me see if she's coming back up. 
Babe. Oh, we got a special guest. Special guest appearance. You want to pop in here, babes? Come here in the middle. Well, she wanted to come on. I think maybe she's getting camera shy. Uh, yeah, Jaylee's uh, cousin. Um, maybe she'll come. But if you wanted to maybe key one of those videos in, I could, you could, I could show you what we were uh, doing the other day. You know, a little flashback to uh, to Babes' age and Jaylee's age, and we were just doing some plain racing. I, I did find this racetrack. Uh, I guess that's another fun of the week that we could we could revamp that. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, we we ended up doing some jumps and some uh, oh, nice. some crashes in the dominoes, <laughs> taking out the buildings. Yeah, um, I, I don't recommend doing that with real cars, but um, <laughs> if you have Hot Wheels cars, some of these you know double Whoa. jump is fun. Uh, double shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, it's good to be a kid, you know, right? Yeah, absolutely. What do you think about this, Jaylee? I think it's fun. <gasps> Talk a little louder. I think it would be fun. Would you do this with your cousins? Like when we go to the family reunions? Yeah, play with cars? But, yeah, but hopefully we don't lose any of the tracks or cars. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to be very careful there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, so yeah, so, so you, you got that track, right? You found that? Yeah, so that actually that track, it's it, it's like, I don't know, 20 feet long. It comes in like four sections. It was only like 10 bucks. Oh, nice. So dude. as soon as I, I saw it. Hey, Warren, you should create an Instagram. Say hi. And... Freak. You should create an Instagram and just post those little slow mos. Do you have an Instagram yeah. yet? G Funk or, Retro. Or Ian, you could do that. You could uh, you could take advantage of that since you got like five gazillion followers. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, gazillion awesome. with the G. Yeah, no, I mean, so so bringing it full circle here, you know, I can remember playing with the track. You know, crisscross crash as a kid. You know, Jaylee and and my other kids will will set up the uh, the track and like you were saying, I got a whole tote full of cars. We'll go, you know, ship down uh, and hit the track. So, you know, I encourage you all have fun with your kids. Let them let them see the uh, excitement of collecting and playing with the cars as well. So, there's some we play with and some we do not. But you should look at it. Yeah. But awesome. Well, hey, I think that about wraps it up for us. Um, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for uh, for subscribing to the channel and uh, and tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe or like and uh, drop a comment below. Um, but until next time, I'm DJ Iwin. Doctor Fly Fisher. Oh, G. G Funk Retro. All right, guys, we appreciate you.